to jump right into it, I made a video on mental health and it was called, Can You Struggle With Mental Health and Still Have Your Shit Together? Aiden, can we show a little picture of it right here? Um, the response I got from this was so amazing. I had so many messages and emails coming in from everyone who watched the video and how much it helped them and inspired them. So that is why we're here today, because a lot of you gave me some suggestions for future videos. At the time, I wasn't sure if I was going to make any future videos, but because it seemed to help so many people, here we are for round two. I thought this was fitting, but one of you asked me, since I struggle with mental health, how do I get through the winter blues? Yes, the winter blues. Okay, so winter blues can affect anybody and it happens. But I feel that if you struggle with mental health, sometimes the winter blues can hit you just a little bit harder <laughs> and they can feel a little bit more heightened. I don't know, that's how I feel. I struggle with mental health. So around this time of year, I, I just really do feel it. And everything kind of hits me at once. I get down, I get bluesy. It's the weather, it's things going on. And one day I just had enough of it and I said, what can I do to make myself feel better? I don't care if it's little tiny things of self-care and self-love. I don't care if it's future planning. What can I do to make myself feel better right now? I just felt like I had to make this video when one of you, we were talking in DM and you know, you, you asked me about winter blues and I thought, okay, this is a thing. Like I, I get winter blues, you get winter blues. So how about we make a video and maybe inspire and motivate others to talk about winter blues, you know, and turn the conversation around, you know, winter blues happen, but how can we talk about it, make it productive and, and enhance our lives while going through it? What, what are little things that we can do to make the winter blues more tolerable because they're not going away. So what can we do? So this is so true. Everyone, I, I feel can experience winter blues. I know I do, but sometimes when you struggle with mental health, it just feels so heightened and I feel can sometimes hit us a lot harder than others. So I thought I would talk about some strategies or I guess a strategy that I've done this year because I found this year <laughs> extraordinarily painful. For people who struggle with mental health, how to give you an extra boost or like a little strategy to cope with the winter blues. So. Getting right into it, I've been doing this this year and I found it extremely productive. I feel it is a reasonable balance between treating yourself and also accommodating long-term needs and gaps. So basically what I did is I wrote down a list of things that have been bugging me to no end. Some of them are silly, don't judge me. These are just mine. They may be different for you, of course. But I wrote them down and then I wrote some immediate short-term and long-term solutions. Writing them down and coming up with solutions in itself was extremely therapeutic. Don't ever forget to take that into consideration of writing things down and then thinking about it and tackling it visually. I'm a visual person so that's where this is coming from. I wrote things down which I'll show you here. My little winter blues mood board. <laughs> when I could see it, like when I could see it written down and then I saw all the things that I could do to tackle it, it just gave me a little bit of uh, hope and confidence and like a plan. Like, okay, I can do this. It doesn't seem that hard. There's steps. Um, some of them are immediate, so I can start doing right now. And then I could see, you know, long-term what I have to do and that I found that also helped. Some of them are really silly. I'll show you some of them, but don't make fun of me guys. Um, I live in a small condo and especially in the winter it could just get to feel very very small very claustrophobic so one small thing is organized like start spring cleaning early organize that sounds so small right but this is a huge thing like I get really bluesy when there's clutter and just I feel like I can't breathe um, cleaning and organizing, obviously, once you find the motivation to do so, is extremely therapeutic. But that was something immediate that I could do to tackle that. There's a couple other things here, like anxiety. Uh, I don't write, I, currently, I don't take any kind of medication to directly uh, solve my anxiety, but I do use fitness to deal with it. So I'm gonna start going back to the gym. And one thing here I feel a lot of people will be able to relate to is body image. So 
I have been having a lot of issues with my self body image this winter. You know, my skin started acting up and I just started feeling really down about my shape. And never ever underestimate the power of representation. And I know I am a model in an industry that promotes body positivity, a healthy body image and representation. Um, but even from pulling from personal experience, when I find people that I feel I can relate to physically, the effect it has on my personal body image is just, um, you know, incredible. I've witnessed it firsthand myself. I've, I've seen what it can do to others just by working in the industry and being friends with other models who, pr who promote a certain body type and seeing like their, you know, fan base, just how much they relate and, and how much they appreciate and respect. So under my body image, I just had find someone you feel represents you and never underestimate this power and this is so true so for me if anyone is wondering it's kate upton <laughs> um i am heavy chested and small hips so sometimes you know that gets me down and someone introduced me to kate upton and i saw that she has a similar body shape and is completely owning it and i just thought wow this is incredible other than that you know i have down here other things that you guys might relate to, trouble sleeping, skincare. So, you know, what can we do? I said amp up skincare, wear fuzzy socks to sleep. <laughs> and another thing that my friend told me that was like the best advice ever in terms of my skin was to stop looking in the mirror. I never thought of that. And it's true when you have, you know, problem skin or, or you're used to having clearer skin and all of a sudden it acts up, uh, you spend a lot of time in the mirror kind of well, I did, just obsessing about it, constantly looking. She told me, you know what? Get out of the mirror. Stop looking in the mirror and that, and you know, stop stressing me out. That is one thing that I would definitely recommend to others is spend less time in the mirror stressing about stuff that you can't control immediately because if you lower your stress, then a lot of issues go away. That's what I found. Winter blues exist. And if you have, if you struggle with mental health, they can hit you a lot harder. I hope that this video helped you. I want to know if you're, if you want to share your winter blue triggers around this time of year, what really hits you hard, what really gets you down. Please let me know and then maybe we can come up with some fun tips and tricks to get through it together. I say that as it's like raining outside and disgusting and gray, but it's giving me a nice light though, huh? Maybe I'll do like a little unboxing video of the stuff that I got for to enhance my self-love and self-care. But let's just, this is just for sharing ideas. Feel free to comment below on things that you do to get through the winter blues. Because I, I want, educate me. Maybe there's something I'm missing out. I, I really hope not. But maybe there is. Let me know. And then we can help each other. So this is how I got through the winter blues. Thank you so much.